I just got back from grocery shopping and I wanted to share some tips and advice on how to eat healthy but still eating uh, cheap. Um, so basically I wanted to share what I eat on a weekly basis and how you guys can do it too and save some money. Um, so I shop at Winco. I know. I am cheap because I rather spend less money on still healthy food and have more money to do other things um, and basically I rather not pay that at higher end grocery stores. Um, I would love to someday be able to afford to shop at Whole Foods um, exclusively but I'm not there yet so eventually that is the goal but for now Winco just works just fine so don't feel bad about where you shop yeah it kind of sucks but um, whatever you know what it saves you money so don't feel bad about that so what did i get i um bought coconut oil um i love to cook with coconut oil it's probably one of the best oils for you to cook with i used to cook um only with extra virgin olive oil but uh, coconut oil is the better option. Extra virgin olive oil, that's mostly for um, taste. Like if you want to put on dressings, on salads, or to add a little bit of flavor. But this is the best oil that you want to cook with. Um, so I have a little guy of this. And um, then I use coconut oil in the pan form because I'm lazy. And so yeah, there's that guy. Um, I love having um, brown rice, so I will buy in bulk brown rice. This costs like a dollar, guys, for all of this. Um, it's better to buy it in bulk, and then you're kind of saving um, some money than you would buy it in a box. So look for your bulk sections and go crazy, because this costs a dollar, and this will last us like a week at least. Um, then for my morning smoothies and my Shakeology, I love to have fruit. Um, normally I have bananas, but I will buy bananas in bulk um, each week and um, I will freeze them. I will cut them in half and then freeze them um, so that I can add them to my shake whenever I need to. But then I like to add other fruit too. Um, hold on a second. Yeah. So I like to buy other fruit too to add to my shake. So I have blueberries and I have mangoes and these are just frozen. I mean, blueberries are starting to come into season but you can't get mangoes yet um, that are fresh. So I have these frozen and I just throw them in my shakes. It makes the shakes extra creamier and thicker which that's how I like them. I like them a thick smoothie. And then, of course, I have plenty of eggs for the week. I love to have two eggs every morning with my breakfast. Um, so I need those. I need plenty of those for every day. Then, um, because I, I have to tell you, I don't have a lot of time during the day. I don't like meal prepping that much anymore. I don't have a lot of time to do it. So I will buy cut up broccoli. You can buy regular whole broccoli and just chop it yourself, but this is how I save a little bit of time for me. Yeah, I have to pay a little bit more for the chopped broccoli, um, but I'd rather do that and then save on some time. Plus, then it makes your meal prepping just go boom, boom, boom. Um, I've recently been trying to add more fish into my diet, um, so I bought frozen salmon, and I'm going to go cook it in a little bit here and just... Um, bake it in the oven with some coconut oil and put some spices on it some garlic it's going to taste really good um so i like to have um my fish in the evenings when i come home i will make the brown rice i will do the vegetables <laughs> he is an attention <laughs> hog um so i will do brown rice vegetables and then i'll have my salmon so then i have my lean meat with my vegetables and my complex carb Um, and then, um, my boyfriend loves meat. I, 
I try so hard to go pescatarian or vegetarian, but it's really hard when I'm having to cook for him and he loves his meat. So I buy in bulk, it's a ginormous thing of um, chicken. If this is way cheaper, this is $8 for all this chicken. Instead of buying like the already sliced breast, just grab this big, it's like a full breast, and then you just chop it up into the places or the portion sizes that you want. And this lasts us like more than a week, and it's eight bucks. And, and this is a thing that we do in our house. Um, my cat is obsessed with the bags, so he gets the bags when we come home, so uh, that's his little treat. <laughs> He's, of course, not showing you now. Um, and then I have uh, almond milk. I don't, almond milk is kind of a splurge and a treat for us. Um, normally, I will add this to my smoothies or my shakes in the morning, um, or if I have some tea, I want it with my tea, but we don't drink a lot of almond milk. Um, it's kind of like, uh, it is a treat for us mostly. Um, I drink water constantly. I add water to my shakes and so this is a treat for us. But I want to show you my refrigerator so that you guys can see what I'm eating. Um, I have whole grain bread. This is for mostly for my boyfriend. Um, but I will have a slice of this with my two eggs in the morning so that I have something a little bit more filling with um, my proteins. But um, if you guys can see here, um, I have my eggs, I have cauliflower, I like to make curried cauliflower, I have spinach to add to my shakes, um, I will have tofu, um, I'm new on making tofu so it's not my favorite yet. Um, but I have vegetables already prepped. I have a little bit of feta cheese for um, adding some flavor. I have mushrooms. Um, here's some fish and chicken left over. And then this is just borscht from his parents. So um, that's basically what I eat. It's very simple. In the mornings I eat my eggs with my piece of toast and I will have some steamed spinach with it. Then at lunchtime, I will have I will prep some of that chicken and put it with um, vegetables, and I have that for lunch. I have Shakeology at least once a day whenever I'm starting to feel the need for either chocolate or I'm starting to get a hunger pain. Um, and then in the evenings, I have my fish with my brown rice and vegetables.